Okay, so I'm doing the last example on page four. It says, determine the slope of y-intercept by writing our equation, which is in general form, in the slope-intercept form. So remember now, our slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is our slope and b is our uh, y-intercept, our initial value, remember? So let's look at this. We have 3x minus 2y minus 16 equals 0, and we want to write it y equals in the form y equals mx plus b. So if we look at this, and we just try to compare the differences, we can see that this has only a y term on the left, and it has the x term plus the constant on the right. So what we're going to do, the first step, is bring to get our x on the right side. So to do that, we're going to subtract 3x from both sides. So we have a positive 3x, so we subtract 3x from both sides, and that leaves us with negative 2y minus 16 equals negative 3x. And so now if we look at our uh, slope-intercept form, we know we have our constant on the right, but here it's on the left. So we're going to add 16 to both sides. And that gives us negative 2y is equal to negative 3x plus 16. So we're almost there. If we look at our equation in slope-intercept form, we just notice the only difference we have is that there's a negative 2 in front of our y, whereas we want a positive 1. So to get rid of that, we have multiplication by negative 2. So we just divide by negative 2. And remember now, whatever we do to one, we have to do to the other. So we have to divide all the other terms by negative 2. When we do that, our negative 2's cancel out. We're left with y is equal to. Now let's look at this. We've got to be careful with our signs. So we have negative 3x divided by negative 2. So a neg... <laughs> uh. Okay, that was the lunchtime bell. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so we have negative 3x divided by negative 2. So negative divided by negative is a positive. So we have 3 over 2x. And we have positive 16 divided by negative 2. And that gives us negative 8. So now we have this in the form y equals mx plus b. And we know that our m is our slope. So we can look at this. Here our m value is 3 over 2. So our slope is 3 over 2. And our intercept is right here. So our y-intercept is at negative 8. And that's it for that question.